This is the uh, Thoracic and Cardiovascular Training Program at the University of Florida. It's been around for 60 years. Originally, the program started as a two-year training program, and in recent years, we've switched to a three-year uh, pathway. In addition to that, we've started a, an abbreviated pathway, which is a six-year training program. It's called an integrated six-year pathway that allows uh, medical students to apply directly to CT surgery training. Our idea really is to train our fellows equally in cardiac and thoracic uh, throughout the first two years. And then when they have made up their mind about what career path they, are, they, they would like to pursue, they're able to tailor the third year of training to whatever career objectives uh, that they've chosen for themselves. I chose uh, UF Health for my training um, for a variety of reasons. I felt the camaraderie amongst the fellows, um, the support of the faculty. It was very clear that this is a place I could grow and thrive. Our catchment area is enormous, and so with that comes incredible training experiences for the fellows. The variety and complexity of cases that we do, I think rivals that of, of any institution in the country. About half of all of the adult cardiac surgery cases that we do are complex aortic procedures. Most of our, our graduating uh, seniors from the traditional pathway uh, leave our program with 800 to 1,000 cases, which is well over what's required by the American Board of Thoracic Surgery to qualify for the, uh, the written exam. We have uh, now 14 faculty in our group. There are more than enough um, operative uh, experiences to go around for, for our learners. There are portions of the training where we have purposely overlapped the junior level I-6 candidates with the senior level traditional pathway candidates. And we think that having that exposure really would, would work well together to allow our senior fellows teaching opportunities and to allow our junior residents to actually learn from the senior uh, graduating fellows how to do simple techniques like opening the sternum, taking down the mammary artery, learning how to cannulate for cardiopulmonary bypass. These are experiences that most PGY1 residents would not get otherwise. I stayed at UF Health as faculty um, for a variety of reasons. The two most important reasons that I stayed um, were number one, mentorship um, and autonomy. So I'm not native to Gainesville, but living here has been, has been great. Uh, it's very easy to get around town. It's a very livable city. I actually live in an apartment just across the street from the East Tower, and so it makes it very, uh, very easy to get back and forth from work early in the morning. Uh, overall, Gainesville's in a very nice place to live, especially during a training program like this.